Oh, uh, morning, everybody. I just dropped my... Morning, everybody. Let everybody get in here a little bit. So, morning, 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 morning. I'm sorry I didn't come on at 8 o'clock this morning. I wasn't going to come on at all today, but I decided that I would and uh, give you a little uh, explanation on my post yesterday. Um, I'll let a few more people get in here and we'll talk about it and I'll explain what's going on and why I am not a positive person today. I'm not in a, I'm not in a, I'm not in a good mood today. I'm, I will try to be positive, but I am not in a positive mood today at all. At all. My phone is still blowing up. Rar, I'm a duck. That's why I'm not positive. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So there's some other people in here. Good morning, everybody. I'm, I'm not going to list you all by names this morning, but good morning to everybody that's in the room. Hello, everybody. Um, I am in a shit place right now in the head. I'm, I'm, I'm angry. I'm, I'm very angry. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not hurt. I'm not, I'm not sad. I'm angry. So, uh, but unbeknownst to a lot of people, I've been seeing someone behind the scenes. Um, I, I've had, I had, I had a little girlfriend and, uh, yeah, well, I don't anymore. Let's just put it that way. Um, and, uh, she did done screwed up. Ladies and gentlemen, she did done screwed up and it fucking sucks, but it'll be okay. Cause one thing I know is when you when you knock me down, I bounce back twice as hard. I just wish some people more understood the word loyalty, and uh, I wish certain people could I don't know keep their vaginas in their pants. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Wouldn't you think that'd be nice? That'd be nice. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. So I'm not in a good place right now. I'm I'm in a, I'm, in a, I'm kind of upset, kind of irritated, kind of mad. It was a new thing, so it's not like it uh, it uh, is going to be devastating to me, and then I'll never recover. But I didn't want to hop on this morning. It's eight o'clock this morning, and be like, "Oh yeah, positivity, and you can do it, and everything else." When I'm sitting there going, "Yeah, I wish a plague would hit humanity right now." I'm so upset. You know what I mean? Yeah, it it you're right, absolutely right, Darren. Sometimes it just takes a couple seconds to get your head wrapped around what's going on, though. You know, it, and that and that's a fact. You know, and 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 I'll, it's it's part of my message that I have on here in the mornings is we all go through things, and you never know what somebody's going through, and 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 it's okay to have emotions. It's 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 okay to have uh, anger and 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 be upset and everything else in the world as long as you can turn it around and put it into a positive place. You know, like you can try to, and it, and it's, and it's, uh, uh, yeah. So it was, uh, it was, uh, more upsetting the, the lie than the, than the thing itself. So I, yeah, I, I was upset, but it take me a couple seconds to wrap my head around it. And once I get my head wrapped around it, I'll be okay. I'll be fine. But anyway, I figured I, I owed everybody an explanation to know why I am not in a positive mood, why I'm having issues. Uh, was, I was having issues yesterday, yesterday and today. Um, but like I said, uh, we you can't dwell on things in the past. You can't control people, places, or things. And this is a very good example of it. You can't control what happens to you. You can only control your reaction to it. And it's okay to get spun out sometimes as long as you recover. You know what I mean? I appreciate all your kind words. Um, I really do. And you're all correct. I mean, uh, 100%. I, I, I know my worth. I know that I'm, I, uh, I, I, I know that it's none of this is my fault or anything like that. And, uh, I am going to move forward and, uh, it's, it's, it's cool. It's all good. It's it's all good in the hood. I mean, I've got some coffee today. I've got some really good friends. Um, I had some of my veteran friends meet me up last night. We went out and I spent about 250 bucks at the casino and, and uh, had a little fun and, you know, yeah, so it's a, uh, it was a uh, real rough, 
uh, for a second there, but uh, like I said, mainly because of uh, betrayal and lie. The lie is what uh, um, really uh, got to me. But anyway, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm going to keep my head up. Thanks, uh, John. I'm going to keep my head up. I'm going to uh, keep moving forward and uh, do the best I can do to be the best person I can be. And when the universe decides it wants me to uh, be with someone, I will be with someone. And if the, this is a, a prime example, we've said it in our live feeds multiple times that you have permanent people in your life and you have temporary people in your life. And uh, this particular person decided to show that they are a temporary person and that's okay that's quite all right they they can be a temporary person and and move on with their life and do whatever they want to do uh and and happiness and peace and whatever they want to they, they chose their actions so that is their path now not mine so i am going to um i mean i i went out last night we had a good time like i said i spent about 250 bucks at the casino didn't win shit, of course, damn it. But, uh, you know, I had listened to some good music, uh, talking to some good friends of mine, and hung out for a while, came home, went to sleep about, I guess, 1 a.m., and uh, slept until just, like, literally. I, this is the first time I've slept in eight hours. I slept for eight hours straight. It's the first time in probably three years that I have slept in eight hours, slept for eight hours. Now I woke up, of course, throughout the night, but I forced myself to go right to sleep. And that's like I said, that's probably the first time I've done that in about eight years or, or more. God, it could have been 10 years. But uh, and I, I directly relate that to the fact that instead of doing what most people do and pushing down the feelings and, and blowing up and getting angry and, and flipping out and all that good stuff, is I went, I sat down, I talked through it with some good friends. And, uh, you know, I listened to myself. Then I stood in front of the mirror and I talked to myself like I do every morning and I decided that I'm not going to let this control me, that I'm going to control it, that I'm going to let it, I'm not going to let it decide who I'm going to be today. So, um, then I went to bed and I slept for eight hours. So it was, it was insane. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm going to look at some of these comments. Uh, I don't, I don't blame, um, I don't, I don't blame her. Like, I don't, I'm not mad at her at, at this point. I'm, uh, the, she did what she did and she can move on with her life. So it's, it's a, it's an impasse. I am letting that, she proved that she is a temporary person in my life and now she is temporary. She's gone. She's done. So it frees me up. And at least I didn't, at least it didn't happen, you know, years into the relationship or something like that. You know what I mean? It, it's pretty new. So the morning more. And more um, yeah, so it's, uh, it was, it'll be okay. It's going to be all right. So yeah, so I just wanted, like I said, I wanted to pop in here and let everybody know what's going on and why I'm not the, uh, positive person that I have been the last couple of days. I'm still going to take me a little bit to get my head wrapped around everything and, and, uh, get back to my cheery self. Uh, but I've got really good friends helping. So, you know. Like I said, one day when the universe is ready, I will find my forever person. Um, but right now, the universe just keeps on throwing temporary people at my in my face. You never know. Maybe, maybe this, maybe, maybe she had to go through this, and this had to happen to her, so she wakes up and realizes what loyalty is. Who knows? Maybe she'll be very loyal to the next person she's with, but it won't be me. That's right. Be gone and don't come back, fuckhead. I like what Darren said. I like what Darren said. You lint liquor. You go on, you lint liquor. <laughs> uh, coffee's hot. I have purged my phone of all the pictures. I have purged my accounts of all of the person of her. So we are good to go. We are. I think we're at a point now where where everything's good. Everything's going to be all right. Now I just start, uh, how, what is it? Start flirting again. I will start flirting. Who wants to get flirted with? Raise your hand. Except for you, David. I'm not going to flirt with you. I'm just kidding. I flirt with you too. Fuck it. <laughs> Them wheels are real nice and round.
Universe doesn't take... That's right, the universe doesn't take somebody away to hurt you only to save you. And it does, it sucks. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it does suck. But it, it really does suck when, when you're betrayed by a person that you care for. But you're absolutely right. The universe showed me something and it showed it to me when it needed me to see it. I needed to re be reminded or whatever that, uh, that, uh, you know, I deserve more. I deserve better. I know my worth and um, being lied to is not n not in the mix. I promise you, and this is this is honest to God truth. If if the the significant other, if the girl that is no longer the significant whatever, the girl I was seeing, if she'd have came to me and she said, you know what, I just need some dick. I gotta go. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna spang this guy over here. I would have been okay with that. I'd have been like, okay, bye, see ya. Because I mean, that would have ended the relationship, of course. But I would have respected that way more. Then, oh, I promise I didn't do anything. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise off. Oh, yeah, I screwed up. You know what I mean? Like, lie, 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 busted. You know what I mean? Like, you, you know, it's like, I would respect it more if it just came straight out. But it is what it is. People deal with things the way, uh, the way they deal with them, and that's not within my control. I refuse to control anybody. I refuse to be a controlling, manipulative person. So I deal with what's given to me. Does that make sense? I'm worth 69. Oh, I'm worth a 69. Mm -hmm. How about we 68? No, you won. All right. Car's still not starting. That sucks. That really sucks, dude. Did you figure out what's wrong with it? See, look, I can even flirt with Jonathan. Hell yeah. See, I got, you know what? You guys make me moist. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's for the people that don't like that word uh what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger except for bears bears will fucking eat you they may not kill you but they will eat you i'm gonna be okay like i said i've got coffee i've got an amazing dog that loves me I've got an amazing child that loves me more than anything that looks up to me like I'm the like I'm better than Superman and Batman wrapped into one. I mean, she is an amazing child. I have really really good friends. Um I know that I will um continue doing what I what I do. So, I plan on doing a live feed again tomorrow morning. I do I plan on doing one at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um I'm going to keep going forward because I think that's what the universe wants me to do. Um, it's been tugging on me all morning long. I've um, been laying in the bed and then I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm getting up. I got up. I took a shower. I, I made some coffee. I, I came in the office. I sat down and I realized that, uh, you know, like I said, I just realized that, 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 uh, that another person's actions is not going to dictate mine. I'm going to stand up and, and and be the best person I can be, and and you know I've been preaching this. I've been preaching this for not, what four months now, uh, three months now. I've been preaching this that that this exact situation. I mean, it basically, I mean, it, it it varies from from the guy that cuts you off on the road to to this. And and if I don't live by my words, then what kind of person am I? I have to be the person that um um lives by what what I say you know what I mean it's uh and it's not easy it's not easy it's hard but uh but I promise you that uh I will do my best to be the best person I can be you know gotta get another cam sensor oh that fucking sucks I can start with you John hell yeah I start with you too shit yeah true love will find me true love has found me it really has I, I had true love once in my life from a, from a female, but a, a, a drunk driver ended that uh, by ending her life when I was younger. Uh, it hit us at about 80 miles per hour. T-boned me about 80 miles per hour and took her life. But I also have true love with my with my child and my and my dog. I mean, you can't you can't find the love. The way my dog looks at me when she walks in in the morning and she's like, "Oh my God, my daddy! Oh, that that's love. That's true love." And my kid, my kid loves me more than anything in this world, and, and that's that's good enough. That's good enough in the love department for me right now. Um, you know, 
it's uh it's it is what it is it is what it is it really is so where's your flirt hi wyland mm, hey girl what you doing how you doing what's up Debbie? how you doing <laughs> oh man it's uh i have no idea what i'm gonna do today i have no idea my, my head is still a little spun out but but uh you know the whole pull it pick yourself up by the bootstraps and move forward thing is gonna happen um i'm gonna make it happen uh it's uh you can tell I'm kind of lost for words. I, I, I'm absolutely just kind of just winging it right now. But uh, yeah, so that's what happened. That's what's going on. And um, I refuse to let this beat me uh, down. Um, I handled the uh, situation quite well, I think. Um, there's a million things, vindictive, evil things that I thought about doing. But I'm like, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth putting that negativity out in the, in the universe. So, yeah. Why, thank you. Thank you. I try to be a badass. If true love is sleeping. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Mark, no problem. Message me after the live feed. I, I, I'm, I'm more than willing to talk to anybody. Uh, if y'all ever message me and ask me to do something or anything like that, I'm like, hell yeah, and then I never do it. I apologize. I promise you I get probably about 60 to 70 messages, messages a day. And I, if if I walk away from my computer and walk back, I have forgotten everything I was doing. So I have a hard, I had a brain injury when I was younger and I have the most shit memory there is. I have a notepad open on my computer and normally I write things down. Okay, you have to do this at this time for this person or whatever. And sometimes I, for, I, I even forget to write it on the freaking notepad. So if y'all ever ask me to do something and I don't, I apologize. People will be, we'll be talking about something. People are like, hey, I'm going to message you after. And I'm like, hell yeah. And they'll message me. I'm like, hey, what's up? Who are you? <laughs> like, I won't even remember. <laughs> so if you ever message me with something, make sure you not only say, hey, just say, hey, we were talking on the live feed this morning and I want to talk to you about something or something. You know what I mean? So just let me know. Make sure you, make sure you re remind me. You got to get another cam sensor. Uh, David, I'll call you in a little bit and I'll see what we got going on. Um, because we might be able to, we might figure something out for you. Uh, and is your GoFundMe still up? If your GoFundMe is still up, I will link it and we'll try to get you some little bit more cash too to help you with your, your situation. Um, Throwdown is 10 away from 400 followers. Awesome. Hell yeah. That's awesome. That's an amazing, that's an amazing feat, you know. Um, that's pretty good. That's pretty, really, really good. You have to be happy about that. It is coffee break time. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have a cup of coffee or tea or anything else in the world, take a sip right now because that's what I'm fixing to do. We're going to wash this away with yummy, the nectar of the gods. Coffee. Coffee. Uh, I love DCC. DCC. Uh, I love brand, uh, Stitches is a, is a good dude. I like him. I have a program on my computer that keeps popping ads up and I don't know which one it is. I can't find it. Do not show this message again. We'll try that. We'll try clicking on that. You need coffee? You got to get you some coffee. Here's a bit of good news out of it, though. This girl that I've, I've known for quite a while, who I found out uh, likes me a, uh, oh, a little while ago. I mean, it's been a, it's been a, a three, four months ago. I found out that she likes me. Uh, out of the blue, messaged me last night and was like, hey, I've been thinking about you. I hope you're okay. I was like, what in the shit is this? Like, I showed my friend. We're all sitting around the, we're sitting around the bar at the casino. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this right here? You know? Uh, of course, she lives all the way across the country, but whatever. Um, I was like, this is just silly. Um, I I am so not ready to even put myself out there in any way, shape, or form at this moment. But it's like, what in the world's going on? But it's kind of funny. I thought, I thought I'd share. 
Uh, can't ring it out of my eyeball. What? What? What can you not ring out of your eyeball? What did you see? What? What did you see? Oh, I've got to. Oh, I gotta send this. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Uh. Oh, that is all in caps. I did not want to send that all in caps. I'm... Okay, on everything. And how I am going to remain positive. Okay. Yes, I will. I will find love one day. I will find it. I'm gonna find it under my blanket or under my under my under my bed or in my closet or in the, in the drawer. I'm gonna. I probably left it in the drawer. That's probably where it is. I probably left my love in the drawer. Uh, yeah. Everybody, like I said, you don't need a lot of people go through it. Oh yeah, I know a lot of people go through it. That's absolutely right. A lot of people go through it. Not just me. Um. I am, uh, I'm actually not working right now. I, I might even be off today. And if I'm off today, I might do the whole pirate thing. I've been th really thinking about doing the pirate thing. And when I say the pirate thing is I live on the beach. So I was thinking that it would be kind of cool to take some wood down there, do a fire, bottle of rum, and just lay on the beach. What do you think? Give me a little bond, little not a bonfire, but like a little campfire, bonfire thing, whatever. A little fire going, blanket, whatever. Bottle of rum. Lay on the beach and curse at people as they walk by. Get off my island! I thought that would be awesome. Oh, granny panties in the drawer. Ha ha ha! Well, a friend of mine told me last night, he goes, you know the best way to get over a woman? I said, what? He goes, get two. <laughs> so, no. Oh. Ah, Jesus. That's going to be one of those days. Rawr, I'm a pirate. No, it'd be, it would be, it would be squee. I'm a pirate. Pirates squee, they don't roar. God, ducks roar. Yep, my beat, my fire on the beach. Yeah, beach bonfire and rum. What could go wrong? Nothing. Nothing could go wrong. The private area. I actually do get to yell at people if they walk by. <laughs> Tell them to get the fuck off my beach. <laughs> kind of fun. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I might, I might do it. Um, I need to call the guy uh, because all of my firewood that I have out there is rotten because you know high high humidity. So it's all like it's like I grab it and I can it, it can disintegrate in my hands. So I need to call and get some get some good hardwood down here. Ooh, that sounded dirty. Let me get some good hardwood down here to throw on my fire. On my fire. <laughs> How am I doing, Linda? I am doing okay today. Uh, I got spun out yesterday, but I am going to be okay. I am going to be okay. I'm going to uh, rationally think about the situation that happened, and I'm going to put my best foot forward, and I'm going to be the best person I can be, and I'm going to work through the situation instead of trying to uh, shove it down or or push it away. It is my beach, damn it. And after the booty. <laughs> right, we can do fires here. Here on a burn ban. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, I mean, it's it's it's. I don't know if we're on a. We, we might be on a burn ban too. Who the hell knows? But uh, not on the beach because it's it's really 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 hard to catch sand on fire. Oh, yeah, I might do that. I don't know. Then again, I may I may just sit here and play video games all day long. I don't know what I want to do. I really don't know what I want to do yet. Right now, I'm going to sit here and talk to you amazing people and drink coffee. And uh, 
and uh yeah that's exactly what i'm going to do i have to go through I, I, I was scrubbing earlier i was scrubbing the the social media stuff and making sure that this female was no longer on any of my social media unfriending and all that good stuff so i've i've, I've got to finish that and make sure because you know the the thing is is when someone betrays you you don't want them to pop up on your timeline all the time you know what i mean so it's easier just to block them and move on. I might do that. I might put a face. I got faces in there. I might put a face on and do some TikToks tonight. Do some angry TikToks like, er, evil, meow. Get my tiara out. And give me some teacups and go have a tea party on the beach. Invite a rabbit. I could do that. Who wants to go have a Mad Hatter's demon tea party on the beach with a fire? Who wants to do that? Y'all come on down. Come on down to New Orleans. I got a, I got an idea. Uh, Jola, if you... Uh, it, it, I don't know if... Message me your uh, TikTok. Uh, my, mine is monster underscore Abaddon. You can see it on the screen right there. It's the middle monster underscore Abaddon. But message me your TikTok and I'll go look and see what you got. I like duets. Duets are fun. It's a fun. Yeah, so who wants to TikTok tonight? Who wants to TikTok? Do you want to TikTok? Tick, 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 tock. Uh, you should do the song I sent you for TikTok. What song did you send me? Oh, wait, the one you just sent? Like, right, right, like a few minutes ago? Okay, I'll look at it. I haven't looked at it yet. I've, I've got like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got like eight messages up. Um, uh, yeah, I might do that tonight. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do tonight. I think it would be funnier to sit on the on the beach in costume, drinking rum with the fire, yelling at people to get off my beach. I need a pirate hat. That would even be better. An end face on the beach, bottle of rum, fire, and yell at people. That sounds amazing. Okay, do a duet with one of mine, so make it easy. Hell yeah, hell yeah, that's awesome. Make it happen, Captain. So yeah, that's that's what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. If you just pop it into the room, um, I was under. I, I I don't ever put my my real life stuff out in in. Well, I mean, I don't ever. I, I shouldn't say ever. I, I'm doing it right now. Um, I try not to put my real life things out in the world. And uh, I have been seeing this girl, and uh, she decided she didn't want to be faithful. So it spun me out for a couple days, but I'm I'm doing much better today. Uh, I don't know if you want to kick my butt because I fight back. I'm just saying. I mean, uh, and and I've got a deal that if I wrestle a girl, if I get into a fight with a girl, an altercation, physical altercation with a girl, ain't neither one of us going to have our clothes on by the time the fight's over. I will shred clothes just so they have to walk away naked. I'm just saying. All right, so that's what uh, Jello must be involved. <laughs> you forgot to capitalize must. I I don't have Jello fights. I have whipped cream fights. Uh, it's much much slippier, 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 slipperier, slipperier. How the frick do you say that word? Slipperier. Yeah, 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 yeah. and a lot more fun. You know what's crazy? Okay, yeah, all right, so here's something that's really, we, I tried this one time, don't ever do it, it's a bad idea, okay, but it's amazing, but it's a bad idea. Okay, so you know those plastic mattress covers you can buy for like beds in case you have a toddler or an old person, whatever, either way. Uh, they got these plastic covers that you can put over your mattress, right? Okay, so here's what you do. You go get you one of those mat plastic mattress covers and you put it over your mattress, right? Don't put the sheets on, just leave the plastic there, right? And then, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Ready? Then get baby oil. <laughs> you and your significant other will freaking hurt yourselves. I'm just saying, because you start on one side, you end up by the door. I mean, it's really, you're like, boom, boom, right off the bed, boom. So I'm gonna tell you another funny story. So 
Uh, then this one's dirty. This is a dirty story. Can I tell a dirty story on here? Is that possible? Or am I going to offend anybody if I tell you all a dirty story? Because it's really funny. Can I do that? Yes, rubber sheet. You buy a rubber sheet and you put baby oil on it and you will, you will die. I tried it one time. It lasted like like 30 seconds and we were like nah fuck this this is a bad idea it was hilarious though it was a lot of laughing going on it was it was really really hilarious so you want to play extreme sports there you go there you go there's an extreme sport for you so i have a dirty story for you but no i can't tell you i can't tell you i can't tell you. It's, it's really bad it's dirty but it's hilarious all i'm gonna say is there was some action going on I was doing something with my female partner a while back and uh, the person fell off the bed and I was like, what in the shit? And all I saw was a hand fly up from the, from, from like the floor. Like all I could see was the hand fly up and she yelled five second rule. <laughs> I died. <laughs> I died inside. It was hilarious. Okay. So I'm sure that your dirty minds can figure it out. Uh huh. I never laughed so hard in my life. I was like, that. we're done. We're done. Because I can't do it. That was hilarious. I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. But she straight yelled five-second rule. Anyway, life throws things at us sometimes that we can't control and that spin us out. And we get angry and we get hurt. And we get our feelings all meshed up and mashed up into craziness. And we have to step back. We have to find a way to recenter ourselves and move forward in a positive way. I've been saying this for months now. And I'm by God going to prove that I'm a man of my words. And I'm going to do it in this situation that I'm dealing with now. So I'm going to be okay. I'm back. Um, I, I only, I didn't even take a full day. I didn't even take a full day. Uh, all the evening last night, last night, this morning, uh, it's nine 30 in the morning. So an hour and a half late for the live feed or whatever. Maybe actually I got on about nine, I guess. I don't know. So I'm okay. And I'm going to be okay. Um, it, it, uh, it's. It's gonna suck for a few days, but uh, it, but I'm okay. It's gonna be alright. So anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, that is what's going on. That is why I posted what I posted yesterday. Um, and I know that uh, you know, cause I I do everything like my personal life is my personal life, and I normally don't uh, put out who, where, when, and anything like that out in the internet because it's 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 personal. You know, even if somebody asks me, hey, who are you dating or whatever? I'm like, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not, I'm not because it's my personal life. But um, and I know that there are some people on here that are friends with this person. And I'm OK with that, too. I would never say, oh, God, choose me over them or anything like that. I'm not even going to tell you who they are because it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If that person decides to go forth and say, hey, I screwed up, then that's that person's choice. If that person says, hey, uh, you know, I, I regret this action or I'm, I'm sorry or anything, which, of course, you know, I don't expect a sorry. I don't expect an apology at all. I really don't. I expect to be uh, ghosted, basically. You know, I mean, you're busted. You're busted 100 percent. And I don't ex I don't expect them to, to say anything. And I'm OK with that, too. So, Jason, welcome to the room, Jason. Good morning. Good morning. Um. I was explaining um, kind of what happened and why I spun out a little bit. But like I said before, Jason, uh, this I'm talking to Jason right now. Um, like I said before, I have to be a man of my words. I have to live through what I've been preaching for the last four months. I have to stand up. I have to recenter and I have to move forward. I will be positive today. I will be happy today. I will regain control of my life today. I, 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 I had spent some time yesterday angry and upset. I uh, went out last night with some friends and we talked about it. We worked it all out and got my head recentered. And I, I slept for eight hours, Biggs. Eight straight freaking hours I slept last night. I woke up this morning and I wasn't going to do a live feed today, but I woke up this morning and was pulling on my heartstrings and it told me, you know what? Go online. Tell people 
why you posted what you posted yesterday. And, uh, and so they can see you physically working through a, a hard point in your life. You know, uh, I didn't have control. I, 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 someone did something to me that hurt me, that hurt my feelings, that made me angry. And I'm going to positively put that energy out in the universe that I am, I'm okay. That I'm going to be okay. I'm, I'm better. For the love of my dog, for the love of my child, and the love of my really good friends, I will be fine. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, wife's up. Tell wife I said hello. Tell your wifey I said hello. I'm not gonna call this person out, uh, Biggs. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make any evil posts. I'm not gonna be vindictive. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be a bad person. I'm not putting any negativity out in the world. Even with this conversation that I've had today, I, I said what happened, but uh I did not I did not put any negativity out in the world. I don't think I did anyway. I hope I didn't. Um, I hope that I am living true to, to what I've been trying to get everybody to do for, for a while, which is, you know, be true to yourself and be the best person you can be. I, I hope that I've been doing that. Good morning, April. So do I like reading short horror stories? I love reading short horror stories. Um, I have an entire video sequence that I want to start producing uh, with short horror stories once I get my studio finished, which I still haven't done. Um, I've been so lazy with it. I've got to get an electrician out here to wire up the, the I bought a 30 foot by 15 by 12 cottage uh, and put on the property here to make a studio. And I still have not wired it up yet. I've got to wire it, insulate it, sheetrock it. Uh, I've got to put an air conditioner heat unit in it. Uh, we're going to put a bathroom in it. Uh, I mean, I've got a bunch of stuff that I have to do. And I still have not done it. I mean, all I gotta do is call the damn people and get them to come down here and do it. But it's like shit. Uh, nobody deserves to get hurt, Linda. Um, whether they're good people or not, I, I believe that uh, I believe that nobody deserves to be lied to or cheated on. I believe that everybody deserves love, loyalty, and respect. But uh, some people just do not understand what loyalty is. Mark, if you do that, I will be 100% honest. Um, I've, I've, I help, I've helped a lot of people with writing and everything in the past, and I will be 100% honest. Absolutely, you can run by, run things by me, and I'll use soundboard all day long, bud. Absolutely. Good morning, Jonathan. Yeah, so that's what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Did I, did I, did I explain everything well enough? Did I, did I, I mean? I was kind of rambling just off the top of my head. I don't have any notes here in front of me. I don't have any any talk points or anything like that like I normally do. I don't have any research in front of me. All that was just straight off the top of the head and out of the heart. So I hope I hope I came across well enough that everybody understands what happened and and how and I hope I'm handling it the correct way. I really do. I hope I'm handling this in a in a good way. You know? I just want in the the end of the day I want people to understand that when I say uh, you know when I have the morning feeds and we talk about how to handle things and and all that I, I want people to know that I'm living through experience and that I I put my money where my mouth is I, I do my best to, to live that way you know I appreciate it, Linda. Absolutely. Thank you, Cindy. Um, I appreciate that. It makes me feel good. It makes me actually feel good. I'm glad. That I really, I'm really, it really makes me happy. It warms my heart that I'm able to touch so many. Oh, that didn't sound right. I'm able to touch so many people. Now I'm able to affect so many people with what I do and in a good way. And that makes me really happy. It, it, it makes me really good. Complete me. 
You complete me. No, just kidding. You don't, but you do. Uh, and talking about things is one of the best relief systems for a bad situation. That's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. Talking things through and physically. I mean, we, we sit here and we think about things all the time. But when you speak it, it puts it into reality. And it you hear yourself saying the words. And it puts a realism on what you're saying. And uh, because there's many times you thought something, you're like, oh, this would be a really good thing to say. And you say it and you're like, wow, that was dumb. You know what I mean? So you could think something that sounds really good and then you put it into words and you're like, oh, that, that sucked. Or vice versa. You think uh, you think something and you're like, eh, I don't know if I should say this or not. You say it and it's probably one of the most profound things you've ever said in your life. So it's, it's always good to vocalize and vaporize. So you vocalize the issue and you vaporize it out of your system so it doesn't bother you anymore. You know? So verbalize and vaporize. That's my word for today. I helped you and I didn't even know it. Yeah, I, that's good, Roy. I mean, I, I really, that makes me feel good. I appreciate that. I mean, I'm glad I was able to help you with whatever situation you were going through. That's amazing. It really is. <coughs> All right, so this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. This is what I've done. I just made a decision. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get off here in a minute. I'm going to say it's 941. I'm going to get off for about 945. Um, and I'm going to get another cup of coffee and then I'm going to load up steam and I'm going to play some video games for a little bit. And then, uh, cause it's only nine, it'll be nine 45 in the morning. So I've got some, I've got all day long to think about if I'm going to do an evening feed tonight or not. If I do an evening bonfire feed, I might, I've got some things that I can burn. <laughs> Wait, I didn't do that right voice. Hang on. I've got some things I can burn tonight. <laughs> we got tons of things from a certain person that we no longer will deal with that we can set on fire. Yeah, that would be fun. So, um, that'd be good. Inhale, peace. Exhale, bullshit. Yeah, because you don't want to inhale bullshit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nasty. Nasty. So let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Do any of y'all play ESO? Elder Scrolls Online, because that's what I'm going to play today. I'm going to play this morning. Do you play ESO? If you do, message me. I do not know what server I play on or if there even is a server. I don't know. I, I'd have to look. But if you guys uh, play ESO and would like to play, uh, message me. Message me. Let's burn shit. Right. We are going to be okay. It is going to be an amazing day. Because I say so. It's, it's going, going to be beautifully amazing. Yes. So yeah, so it's going to be awesome. We're going to have a lot of fun. And I'm back like a bad virus. Well, welcome back, Glenn. Uh, Cindy, thank you so much for the... Yeah, I'm going to be doing the TikToks. Uh, but it will be... Uh, it won't be with, with someone. It's going to be myself. Ball by myself. <laughs> uh, Glenn, you play ESO? All right, send me over your information, and we'll get you on my Steam. We'll get you on the Steam. I play. I play every chance I get. I, I don't get to play much. Oh, there's my death clock telling me that it is one minute till. Um, for y'all that don't know, uh, most of you do know. I'm very hard of hearing. I'm 60% deaf in one ear, 40% in the other, and I wear hearing aids. When I'm not wearing hearing aids, I have a death clock. My death clock is really amazing because it's really loud and it beeps at me and tells me what time it is. You'll be live tonight, bro. Okay, cool, Keegan. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Send me a message because if you ever go live, any of y'all, if y'all go live, send me a message like literally right before you go live. Because if you send it to me like five minutes before you go live, I'll miss your damn feed. <laughs> I'll forget. Yeah, Barbie's been drinking mimosas this morning. I knew that one. You play eight ball here a lot. Yeah, I play on. Uh, I've got a PlayStation Four and I've got uh, the PC games. I mainly play PC games on Steam. But yeah, hit me up, guys. I love y'all so much. Thank you for coming today. It is nine forty-five. I'm going to be another man of my word. I'm getting out of here. So, uh, everybody here at the Abaddon Apollyon Camp, 
uh, loves and respects each and every one of you. Thank you so much for coming in today and listening uh, to why I uh, and what's going on with me. What why why I am the way feeling the way I am. What's going on with me today? And uh, thank you so much for your love, your support, and the kind words and the messages that I'm receiving right now. Uh, we will be okay. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna we're gonna just move on like nothing happened. We're just gonna boom. Uh, as that person said, chuck it in the fuck it bucket and move on. I'm going to keep that saying. So yeah. We love and respect each and every one of y'all. Be kind to each other. Remember that even if life throws you some freaking nastiness, you can handle it. I promise you. You're amazing people. You can do this. And we will chat with you at 8 o'clock. Well, if not tonight, I don't know. If I go live tonight, then you'll see me tonight. If not, then we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right? Love, peace, and respect. That's not it. What is it? What is it? Love, peace, and chicken grease. I'm out, Moe's. <laughs> I'm out like the fat kid in dodgeball. Peace.